name's John. James John. No, not really, that's not my last name. And no, this isn't a Walther PP in my hand. This is an FEG APMBP. That's a mouthful, right? Basically what this is, this is a Hungarian copy of the Walther PP in the great 32 ACP. Now, for those of you who are Ian Fleming fans and love James Bond, James Bond had a 32, not a 380. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> so, what this gun is, this is a 32 ACP copy of the Walther PP. After the war, after World War II, the Germans didn't really have rights to manufacture a lot of their guns. So, Mr. Walther was on the run, and a lot of company, a lot of countries copied his design, because it's a great design. Um, so, what this gun is, this is a steel, frame, or steel side aluminum frame, uh, semi automatic handgun. This is an 8 plus 1 capacity. Now, there is no slide release on the side of this gun, so I cannot lock the slide open unless the magazine is inside of it. It's got the, if you, I will zoom in uh, for this, but there's a little tab right there, and we'll show it to you. Uh, what that does is it acts with a piece in the actual frame to lock the slide open. Now, this is a direct blowback design. It shoots great, it's double single action. Now, the double action is not anything to write home about because it is a Soviet design, and here in America, the way we would carry a gun, it's a round in the chamber, decock, safety off, no full loaded magazine. In the communist bloc countries, they were taught that these were secondary weapons. So when they drew these, they would load them and then fire them. The double action bullet is very heavy. Now I could be wrong, if you guys know more knowledge than I do, feel free to comment below. But these, gu these guns are coming in, this is a military surplus, a uh, police surplus for the Hungarian police. Um, and for those of you who don't know, 32 ACP was a military cartridge for a very long time. Up until World War II, a lot of people were still using the 32 ACP. Um, and it is making a comeback now with the modern ammunition. Uh, so this gun right here is a 1951 production. I'll show you how to take it apart. We're, Dylan and I are gonna go up to the range and shoot it, and we're gonna show you how accurate that fixed barrel design is and how great this gun shoots, and especially for the recoil of the 32 ACP. So, guys, we're gonna head out to the range. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this gun when we come back, especially how poor the sights are. There's nothing to write home about. But, again, we're gonna head out to the range, guys. We'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, I'm out on the range with the uh, FEG AP MVP. This is in 32 ACP. Man, that's a mouthful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire all eight rounds at the target. I do have it decopped like I would carry it. Thirty-two has no recoil, and man, can I shoot this gun fast? Feels good in the hand. And the recoil is very low. We're gonna go ahead and head down range to get a five round accuracy group. All right guys, this little 32 shoots pretty good. I pulled them, but they're, they're getting good groupings. So guys, for $200 right now in the surplus market, we'll talk about more about that in a little bit. You really can't go wrong with these guys. Uh, this time we're we'll using Blazer Aluminum 71 grade, man, it's low, 32 ACP ammo. Alright, so this is my first time actually ever shooting that gun. Uh, five round accuracy group, it's not too bad. It shot a little high for me, I was aiming a little low. I think that could be due, due to the grip angle, uh, but we were shooting 71 grade Blazer Aluminum. Pretty cool gun. Alright. I feel like I need a martini. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Should I, yeah. Are you supposed to drink and have guns? No. no. No drinking and guns? No, unless you're James Bond. Am I James Bond? No, you're James John. You're James John. Yeah. Or am I John James? I don't know. I don't know either. Alright guys, enough with the rambling. We're back out on the range again. Uh, we're finishing up our review of the FEG AP MVP and 32 ACV. It's a mouthful. 
Yeah, it can be. Yeah. Uh, guys, I like this gun. Uh, it's kitschy cool. It is a. Uh, it's like a Walther PP. Yeah. It, it fits my hand well. Uh, the aluminum from now. For me, it depends on the load I'm shooting. Uh, some of the hotter loads do hurt the palm of your, the, the inside of your hand because it's direct blowback. So all that energy is coming right back. Now, for those of you who think 32 ACP is low recoil and that I am being a complainer, you're absolutely right. He agrees. Uh, but I, the 32 ACP is a mild shooting cartridge. It's great. It's easy to learn on for those new shooters who, or those who can't really you know, shoot a gun really well in, in 380 and things like that. Uh, the modern loadings, though, are stepping up. They're creeping up. But uh, let's show you how to take this apart real quick. Ready? Pull down the trigger guard. Pull up. Ta-da. So, it is not a browning action? It is not a browning action. <laughs> um, the barrel is fixed. Now the recoil spring does come off. There's two parts to this recoil spring. One is very tight, one is very loose. Um, make sure that you put the tight end, tighter fitting end towards the barrel, end of the barrel. You put it back together. Now this is the pain in the butt part. Look at that. Yeah, I, got got it I got try. it on the first try. But, um, and then you pull the trigger right. Now the decocker is great. Like I said, double action pull is super heavy. It's, it's got to be a wide. 19 pounds? Yeah, probably. It's still, for those of you who have weak trigger fingers, it might not be the best. Now, there's a spring kit for this. Uh, Wolf Springs does make a kit for this. Now, I'm going to show you these sights. Like I said in, in the beginning of this review, these sights are nothing to write home about. Jeez. They're very low profile. Guys, these guns were meant for police use and concealed carry um, in Hungary for their detectives. So, uh, it, it is meant for that. It's a low profile gun. It does fit the hand very well. I like the way it shoots. Um, again, this is a 1951 production gun, um, so I mean, it's been around for a little bit now. Yeah. What do you think? Well, this is the first time I shot it, and I'll tell you what, it's definitely a gun that you'll have to get used to to shoot um, because of those sights being so small and everything. I mean, it's, just, it's really hard to get to, but you know what? It doesn't recoil at all, and like John said, it's really good for a new shooter who's never shot a handgun before. They probably could um, learn good trigger control and um, how to control recoil really well with this gun because of the light recoil and easy shooting. It's great. Uh, the only thing I would say about new shooters, and because we all know new shooters, they like to put their thumb there. Uh, guys, this gun will, it's it'll, like a Walther, it'll, it'll bite. Um, you just gotta be careful how you hold it. Um, like I said before, these are aluminum frames. Um, they are coming into the country now. They're about $200. I've seen them running around $200, $219. Mm -hmm. um, so they're a good price. Now, with any surplus guys, you gotta get them while you can. The price just goes up. We just did the Nagat Revolver last week. The price went up on them. They were 100 bucks at one point. Yeah. Same with the Nagano. Even with like the Moses. Yeah. You can buy like 100 bucks five Now you'll see these guys in a couple different colors. Uh, basically, see the end of day should uh, going away. But uh, guys, I want to thank you for joining us today. Make sure to like us, uh, subscribe below, hit the little bell for notification, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and visit our store in New Ohio. Thanks, guys, and have a great rest of your day.